everybody welcome back to the shop my name is Doug it's November 1st 2018 and I hope everyone's had a great summer uh, I've been super busy around the house here and this is the first time I've had a chance to get down into the shop and produce some content for my channel uh, this summer has been just crazy crazy busy with the job I've been flying just non-stop and between delays and uh, weather it's been a rough uh, a rough summer so I'm looking to looking forward to sliding into fall uh, which is historically a slow time uh, for commercial aviation and having the opportunity to produce some content. Um, also recovering from a stress fracture in my uh, in my leg. I'm kind of new to the short-term disability thing. Um, I've recovered uh, nicely uh, through, uh, through that, but uh, it was interesting. Six weeks off sounds like it's going to be a vacation, which it was for the first uh, three or four days. Uh, then after that, it got boring. And uh, uh, the nice thing is that uh, YouTube, uh, you know, kept me company. I doubt any of these guys are watching, but, uh, you know, some of the big names uh, that I subscribe to uh, always provided me with uh, some content. Guys like AVE and this old Tony and Stan Zinkowski from Bar Z Industrial and John Saunders from NYCNC and Keith Fenner and Keith Rutger and all these guys. Um, you know, provided me with uh, with content that was entertaining and, and made the time fly by. And uh, that's the nice thing about YouTube. It gets the uh, creative juices flowing, so to speak, and, uh, you know, sets your mind to, to wander and what's, uh, what's next for me as a hobbyist. So uh, what I ended up getting into, I, uh, I, I set some goals for myself for the six weeks and I decided to uh, learn Fusion 360. So I, uh, I downloaded the program to the laptop. I've got a little bit of uh, experience, but it was so long ago. I was on a giant standalone Intergraph uh, system. Not even sure if that company's still around, but these were huge, huge modules. And what you can download onto a laptop now is just, uh, is just amazing. But um, I did uh, uh, sit down to learn that every morning, made a cup of coffee and sat down and for those of you looking to learn Fusion 360 or interested uh, check out Lars Christensen's YouTube channel. He works for Autodesk who's the manufacturer of Fusion 360 and he has a absolutely great uh, some great content called Absolute Beginner Fusion 360 and takes you step by step through the uh, the whole thing and it's uh, you know, you'll start off with just how do I draw a circle, how do I draw a square, and from that, how do I extrude things, and from that, you're making whistles, you're making car tires, you're making traffic cones and dog bowls, and anything that uh, anything that he thinks of. Uh, and the nice thing about it is that each project shows you some of the functionality of Fusion 360 about, you know, uh, lofting cones going from a square to a circle, and and uh, and so on. So it all has uh, it all has purpose uh, in the end, and uh, he's got a great series. So if you're thinking about learning Fusion 360, definitely check Lars Christensen out. I'll try to provide a link to his channel uh, down in the description box here. But uh, one of the functions of Fusion 360 is the uh, computer-aided manufacturing side of it, which is uh, taking your design and post-processing it into a machine language and downloading it to some sort of a milling center or lathe. Uh, or 3D printer, or laser cutter, or router, whatever you've got going. And I've got a little bit of experience in that. And that is a uh, creating a punch tape to feed to a bridge port. So that shows you just about how long I've been out of it. Uh, but it's all very interesting stuff. It uh, it got me thinking about uh, you know where we are as a hobby and where the technology is and is it affordable and do we convert? Do we buy used? Do we go big time? Um, but I've got nothing to manufacture and maybe most of you guys are in the same boat We're just interested in it to just be interested in it um, so that has gotten me uh, you know thinking about getting back into programming so uh, I started looking at uh, guys that have done conversions um, guys like uh, Marty CNC garage uh, Russ stuff uh, Franco all of these guys have done great conversions of bench mills uh, whether it be Grizzly or Precision Matthews, and uh, there's a lot of good content out there. Uh, these guys are very smart. I am not that smart, I think, on this kind of stuff, so uh, 
If you're like me, it's a little daunting. So uh, this next video series that I'm going to try to put together with you guys is just taking a, a, a guy who's got some manual machining down and just wants to get that next 10% out of the hobby. And that's converting this uh, Precision Matthews mill uh, right beside me here to, uh, to full CNC. So uh, the last remaining piece should be in tomorrow. That's a set of uh, clear pass servos from Technic that I ordered. But we'll be taking a look at those servos, getting those servos hooked up to a, a, a Centroid Acorn breakout board, hook that up to a, a computer, and we're talking double nut ball screws that are going to be uh, put on this machine here. So we're going to walk through the whole thing so that uh, if somebody that's less experienced in this kind of stuff might want to try this out, um, they'll be able to. So uh, thanks for joining me. We're going to be uh, completely redoing this, uh, this machine here as the next project. And I don't know how many series it's going to be. I've already droned on long enough. So uh, thanks for joining me, and we will start uh, start putting this thing together uh, together. So uh, I'll see you in the next series.